Hey everybody and welcome to another illustrious episode of Checkpoint on Campus. As usual, I am your host Norris Howard, joined alongside Jacob Brothers out there in Las Vegas. Jacob, what's cracking my guy? What's cracking is that it's very cold here in what was once the sunny Las Vegas. Yeah, I heard it actually snowed that that week, so I, I anticipate mm-hmm. the entire city shut down and there was mass looting. Oh, yeah, no looting. one can drive. People are spinning in the streets, you know. The sky's falling. It Literally. Uh, <laughs> but with that said, I definitely, definitely want to welcome everybody to the show and very happy that we can finally talk a little Call of Duty, which I know Jacob is super excited about. College Cod is here, my guy. Oh, yeah, and it's about time because we've talked about it before and we'll say it again. And eSport is doing it right, and we love to see it. Absolutely, absolutely. So the new season is coming. It starts February 1st, uh, but they put out a video via social media that actually had a really great explainer as to how the season format would proceed. And obviously, it'll be broken down into four regions, West, Midwest, Northeast, and Southeast, but it's in the two splits where the interesting things start to happen jacob tell us a little bit about how these two splits will differ yeah so initially it's going to be the six weeks of a round robin which we've seen in many tournaments before but after those six weeks it's going to be broken into the top 12 and the bottom 12. so the top 12 teams will be playing only the teams in that area and the bottom 12 teams will only be playing the teams in their area so the teams that are really good are going to be shown off against the really good teams and the teams that aren't as good are going to still look good against the teams in their caliber I really, really, really think that that's a great idea Mm -hmm. because part of what we see and part of the issue that we tend to see in college esports is the simple fact that a lot of the good teams are so much better than the mid-tier or bottom-tier teams that it's not competitive. All you Mm -hmm. see is somebody stomping out another team, and it almost feels like not fair. Um, But with this format, and by the way, both splits will be taken into consideration when it comes to seeding so all of this counts Mm -hmm. it's not like one split is way more than the other one but uh the teams that are good will sharpen themselves against other teams that are good and i like the way that you put this the teams that aren't as good (laughs) um will be playing other at level teams and so they have a chance to build confidence and we're not seeing these games that have no meaning where one team is so down in the dumps that they're in they're playing against the top two or three teams that they have no chance of winning and they're playing essentially a meaningless game yeah put um, all players I, I on the really map. really like this because exactly yeah exactly skill can be exactly. coached and not just you, like there's it good players excitement. on every team and you get to see good players on every team yeah, I love it because there's excitement at the top and the bottom. You know what I mean? So it, it, that's the part that I'm the most excited about. So after those two splits, what is coming next for College Cod? After those two splits, then it is playoffs. The top four go straight through, and then the other teams in the middle play each other. It's playoffs. Flat out. Regional qualifiers. And we, we've talked about this. Yeah, when, in a when, we, when we were reviewing this and we talked about it, this is the UT Dallas setup, right? This is the setup that all of these teams want. You know, because there are so many teams that are just right there in the middle. Where they're, you know, they go up against a Maryville and they're like, well, we're going to get washed. Everyone's going to think we're bad or we're going to choke or something. And then we're now irrelevant. And then you have this kind of a setup where the UT Dallas play the other UT Dallases. And as a viewer, you go, wait a minute. All these players are pretty good. And wait a minute. This league's kind of competitive. And this is absolutely a format that I think we should see in a lot more esports because a lot of esports have the issue that we've talked about of it's the big boys, the big boys have fun, the little boys don't have fun. And right. in this setup, right. everyone has fun. Yeah, I, I'm very excited to see how it all pans out. And, and obviously after those regional qualifiers, uh, all the top teams then will go to a big national bracket, 64 teams to determine who is actually the top school in the nation. And uh, the cool thing about this is that all of the top teams from last season are returning. The defending Mm -hmm. champions, Texas A&M, Concord, Humber College, Georgia Southern. Everybody's coming back in addition to some few, a few new schools, but everybody's back. The competition should be even more fierce and this should be a really really fun watch guys so make sure that you are all tuned into this competition starts february 1st and guess where it all takes place 
Uh, the College Cod Twitch. Twitch channel. Oh my gosh. You can actually go onto twitch.tv, look up the league, find the league, watch the game that's being played, and then they talk about the game after. And you can go on Twitter and get more information. It's bonkers, man. It's unbelievable. I've never seen it it's before. It's crazy. And you know what the you know what the craziest part about this is? I go on the Discord. Do you know what they have on the Discord? A schedule uh, of a all schedule. the schools. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought? You know what's coming up Insanity. next? Insanity. It's incredible. It's, you know, the bar is, it's sad how low the bar is. And I'm glad that at least <laughs> one league goes past it. You know, I'm so glad there's a league Absolutely. that has it all together in a watchable esport where there's competition. So again, watch this. It's really good. It's fun. It's organized. It's worth your time absolutely